Hi folks, so today we're about finishing up our work in Canva and we're going to look at our infographics. So let's go to the home screen. This is my home screen for Canva and just like I showed you the other day, I'm going to go to templates and find the infographic templates. So there's a lot of super cool graphics in here that I told you to take a look at and um, I'm going to show you, if I scroll down, I'm looking for something like with a bar chart or a pie chart that's easy to see. Um, okay, here's one. So look at this. So I'm going to use this template. Then I come in here. This is about gaming. And um, I want to show you something. This is a super cool way to exhibit. So two and five games. You can even use these, um, just a little icon to represent like 10. If you had 10 of them and you wanted to show a percentage, like let's say you wanted to show 40%, you would only color four of the 10. So keep thinking about ways that you can visually represent your data. Uh, but a big thing I want to show you right now is if I click on this graphic right here, if I double click on it, it goes right to the data chart. So this is the data that goes in to make up these percentages. And then you can edit this on any of these charts. Okay, so that's one way to attack your work. Another way is to um, go back to the templates. And let's say I'm going to start at home again and go to my infographic. And it didn't go. There we go. Okay, templates, infographic. I keep getting the wrong template here. There we go. I want to make my own. We as um our main goal is to observe, report, and create our own work. So I would prefer to start with my own template and um, exercise all the things that I'm learning. So let's say I want to do that same thing. And um, first I'm going to throw a background on here. You either want your backgrounds to be super light or super dark. Okay, so um, let's say it's fall. I was going to do orange. We'll just stick with the orange for right now. Okay, that's a nice bright color. Um, okay, and then let's go to elements. We're going to make our own chart. So if I come down here, look at all these charts that you can make. Um, I click this button so I can see all of them. Oh my gosh, they're so amazing looking. So if I click on any of these, let's say um, I love a donut chart. So I put a donut chart on here. Here's my data that I can enter that um, you've already gotten this, right? So let's say it's something I'm thinking about. How many virtual students do I have compared to in-person students? Whatever your data is on a chart, it should equal 100%. So um, this is roughly true about my day. I have about 43% of virtual students and about 57% in person. So do you see how um, this chart reacted to the information I put in the data points? So look at this. This is so cool too because you can go in and out of size. Um, if I found out that I had to add something or I made a mistake or a typo or something, I can come just double click on this chart and come right back in there. Okay, so also I want to edit my font because I don't think that's readable. It gets kind of loose right here. So I'm going to put in, uh, I just click where the font is and I'm going to click a bold font. And let's see here. Um, Let's try Formula Bold. Hmm, that's pretty good. Uh, maybe I want to try. Uh, okay. Um, oh, here's my font. 
Let's see if white's better. I don't think it is. Maybe that's good. Okay. So I have a chart and it's editable. Editable. My goodness. Okay. Okay. Now, another thing I want to show you is getting your infographic into uh, the shared drive so we can post it online when it's finished. Right here's a download button. But before I do that, I'm going to name it according to the protocol I gave you in your agenda this morning. So like everything else, you start with your last name, underscore infographic, that's what this is called, underscore and today's date. Okay, awesome. So then your editors know um, that it's your work and they're looking for this date and they know it's an infographic. So then I hit download. We want images. We don't want um, PDFs. So we want a high quality image, which is a PNG. So I hit download. Then super duper, here it is. It dropped into my tray. So let's say um, then I go to my shared drives. I have the same one that you do. I go to uncaged. I find volume 24. This is going on the web. And watch this. Super cool. I just drag it in. I had already tried it once, so I'm just going to update my existing one. Pretty simple, huh? Okay, so today is about refining your work, improving it graphically, making sure your data makes sense, and that you're telling an entire story in your infograph through all the pieces, um, then uh, working on getting them posted. Come to class, virtual students, at 1045. We're here from 1045 to 1115, then we have lunch, and then we're back at 11:45 through 12:40. Want to see your beautiful faces there and um, help you with your work. So we'll catch you later today. Have a good one.